Hi, this is a little demonstration about how to take a scanned document and get it onto Wikisource and get it ready for proofreading. Uh, so in this case we've got a letter um, that was written by Thomas Henry Barker in 1903. Uh, I've scanned it and uh, cropped the, the four scanned images that you can see here, um, but I haven't done anything else uh, really to these um, four pages. Um, I've made sure that the um, they're oriented correctly. Um, they're they're cropped so that um, they can be um, the files can be arranged in reading order, so they can be um, transcribed in the same order. And uh, I've made sure that the um, the file names are um, suitable for for uploading already. So everything else uh, I will go through now. So the first thing is to go to Wikimedia Commons um, and click Upload in the sidebar here. Uh, you'll have to be logged in for all of this, of course. Um, so uh, we simply select all of these, dump them into the Upload Wizard. Um, it'll take a little bit of time, um, and hopefully I will figure out how to fast forward this video so that um, this bit doesn't take as long as it, it is. Um, yeah, the, the total size here is 55 megabytes. Um, uh, they're about yeah, 11 or 21 megabytes each. Um, this is still going on, so it looks like I probably will have figured out how to crop this section, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just carry on. Um, while we're waiting for that to finish, we can go over to uh, Wikidata and um, start the process of creating a new item for this document. Um, every document that gets uploaded to Wikisource uh, should have a Wikidata item. Um, I know that this one doesn't exist, but normally um, in, in most situations you would search uh, first before creating the item. Uh, I'll just jump straight through to creating uh, the item. Um, I'll grab the, the name uh, from one of these files here and I'll um, put that in here. Um, get rid of these underscores. Bit of a tedious process, but that's okay. Um, and uh, we can fill in the rest of the in info later on. Um, so we, we create an item um, and we can we can fill in some basic information about this um, such as uh, instance of letter and uh, the author Thomas Henry Parker um, the addressee, if I spell it correctly, uh, is Mary Ellen Moulsdale or Barker. And we'll just jump back here. Nope, that's still going, so we'll, we'll carry on over here. Uh, date of publication is the 14th December 1903. That should be nearly there, nearly there. does take a while sometimes. Um, what else can we say about this? Uh, language, English. Still waiting, still waiting, right, okay. Um, yes, we'll leave it at that. We are now also going to be creating um, a uh, index page on Wikisource. Um, so, um, we're going to use the same uh, title um, just because it's it's used throughout and it, it doesn't have to be the same. Ah, there we go. That's that's finished. We'll, we'll go in here. So those have uploaded. These are not my own work. The source uh, is the uh, CF Barker Archives. Um, the author is Thomas Henry Barker. So we uh, add the copyright tag 
uh, in another reason not mentioned it above. And in this case, it is PD old 100 because the author died more than 100 years ago. Uh, so then we can click Next. And now we go to describing individual images. Um, so in this case, um, the, the, the descriptions here can um, generally all be the same. They're not going to be that useful anywhere. Um, uh, and we'll just reuse the caption as the description because the upload wizard doesn't let us carry on without one, but we don't need it to be any different. Um, the date, 1903-12-14. And we'll add it to a category um, that again will be the same, um, uh, the same text as the title that we're using everywhere. Um, that just helps keep these files together in one place on commons. Um, it's also a document, so um, location not applicable because it doesn't doesn't have a, a point, a geographic point. Um, and that's about all we need to do. Um, and then we can copy the same information, but not the title. We want to copy the caption, descriptions, date, categories, and everything else to the other three files. And we'll just scroll down and make sure everything looks OK there. At the moment, this category is red. That doesn't really matter. Um, because we're going to create that uh, ourselves in a moment. We will get a warning when I hit publish. It says the category doesn't exist. That's OK. We know that. So we let it carry on. It'll uh, finish that. Um, and in the meantime, we can uh, go over to uh, Commons um, and we can create that category. Um, there's nothing yet in it. Those are still processing, but that's OK. We'll start creating it anyway. We know they're going to end up in here. So um, in any category on Commons, usually one of the first things you do is add the Wikidata info box. Um, and we can also add other things like um, uh, the, the author has got a category already. So we'll add that. Um, and then we'll add um, Mary Ellen Barker. I can't remember which one it is. Yes, there it is, category Mary Ellen Barker. And we'll insert that. Um, we can pro we'll come back here later and add a few more categories as well, but that will do for the time being. So we'll save that. And there we go. Some of the images are already coming in. There's one more to come still. So that's OK. Um, now we'll uh, copy that category title, jump back to the Wikidata item, and we'll add a site link to the category. Uh, we add that in there. It'll autocomplete, and we can select that. Uh, we'll also add the Commons category property, uh, which shouldn't have the leading category. Uh, a bot will come along. If we hadn't done that, a bot would have come along and fixed that up for us, but that's OK. So now we, we're um, on this page. So um, if we reload this, we should see a little bit more uh, content over at the side here. The info box is filled in. That's great. Um, we're still waiting on a third, uh, fourth image. No, it is still coming. We'll just uh, wait for that. Um, now I'm going to copy a, uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to um, stay on this page and we're just going to change the uh, URL. We're going to go to en.wikisource.org uh, slash wiki slash index and we're going to keep the same title again. Um, uh, uh, this isn't, you know, necessary, like, like an index page can be different from a category, can be different from the file names, but in, in the case of a document like this, it, it's nice to make them all the same. It just carries everything through. Um, and again, we'll use the same for the final title that's going to end up uh, in here. Um, generally, for, for this sort of thing, um, we don't need to add too much metadata here. Obviously, this isn't a published book. Um, uh, so we just fill in the title and author and year. Those are the most um, the most useful uh, at the moment. We can come back and do this later. Um, 
the interesting stuff is down here. So scans, we want we set that to uh, to PNG because those are uh, PNG files. Um, the cover image now one that means it's going to take the first page from a multi-page document. Um, what we've got here isn't a multi-page document, and we actually want. Um, oops. Uh, I'll open that category again in a new tab. Um, and we want the first page, which is uh, this one, page one. So I'll just copy that file name and I'll jump over here and I'll put that in here. Um, and you want the full uh, image syntax here. So I'm going to say like 300 pixels um, across. Um, and that will give us the little thumbnail on the index page. Um, we're going to change progress. We're going to make that uh, to be proofread um, because that's the first um, stage that we're going to be in. Um, and the page list, we're going to get rid of page list because it's um, not, uh, not necessary. And we're going to go back here and we're going to grab all of these file names and we're going to start putting them in here. This is a, a, one of the, the weird um, parts of this process. Um, is So what I'm doing here is um, putting links to these n pages on Wikisource that don't yet exist um, in the page name space. So I'm going to say uh, page one. Uh, I might do it without the without the p. In fact, so, um, two to three. Oops, I can't type today. But anyway, I'll get there. Um, uh, page four and page five. So that's going to make um, simple links to um, these pages in the page namespace um, that don't exist. And the order that they appear in this um, page list is the order in which they'll be navigated um, for proofreading um, So and, and also for transcluding into the main namespace. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so this is the, the crucial bit where having, having multiple pages uh, that are not collated together in a single PDF or deja vu file uh, this process becomes pretty um, clumsy. It, it, when it's four, four files, it's fine. When you've got more than that, it, it can get a bit annoying. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll go down here and we'll save this. Um, and we'll see that we've got um, a, a thumbnail and we've got these links down here to the, to the four ready to proofread but not yet existing pages. Um, this warning here is um, a gadget that is telling me that this uh, URL can now be added to the Wikidata item that I created before. So I'll go back here and I'll add uh, Wikisource index page URL so that that's there. Because that's the only way that we, until we've got a main space transclusion page on Wikisource, we don't have a link between here and Wikisource. So this, this URL is what tells us um, the location of the index. Um, so if I um, if I reload this page now, uh, depending on the caching, yes, no, the, the caching can take a few minutes sometimes. So anyway, so now we are ready to uh, to proofread. So uh, we click on page one. Um, it takes us to the side by side um, proofreading view. It, it has a bit of a think while it calculates. Uh, well, it generates that that um, thumbnail, and this is the point where you you would start. Uh, Sorry, wrong, wrong link. Uh, I'll just get rid of the header and footer uh, because this obviously doesn't have a header and footer. Um, and here you you would start typing. Um, I've I've cheated a bit and I I transcribed this earlier, so I will uh, copy that into here. Um, there's definitely some more to be fixed up here, so I'll go down here and I won't change its status yet. I'll just leave it like that and I'll say publish. So we've got that. And then up here we can click onto the next one and that takes us in order that we put these in the index page. It takes us to the next file. So again, I'll jump back to my cheat sheet, uh, copy that, come back here, paste it in here. Again, leave it as unproofread because I'm just rushing through this and not doing a proper job. Um, and then next page, Final part. Oh, sorry, not final part. I think I have made a mistake here. 
um, this page ends with and get what money ends there I'll cut that uh, yes and get what money and get what money yeah that's correct so we'll we'll save that yep. uh, and we'll go to the last page and this should start with uh, you want from the bank and so on yep that all looks okay and we'll save that great um, so if we jump back upwards to the index page we'll see that these are all now uh, pink indicating that they are they exist but they haven't yet been proofread um, and uh, that that's all pretty good um, so the title here isn't yet a link so I'll jump back in here and edit this um, and I'll just uh, add, make that into a link hit return to save that so now we've got a link um, and so to populate that we're going to need this so I'll, I'll copy that and now I'll go to this page it's going to be a warning saying that we need a header so I'll, I'll use the preload that's good um, and then in here um, we're going to use the uh, pages tag like like normal proofreading for, for uh, um, in Wikisource um, and the index is um, as specified um, so that's fine except we instead of the usual uh, from and to um, we need to give it the um, file names that we used um, the file names that we used in uh, the index page so um, oops sorry back to the index page yes so if I open this for editing again these uh, file names that we use here we also want to use these when we're using the pages uh, tag in here um, so you can see I just did from and then I put the first page but it's actually gone through and it's taken them all in order now in this situation I do want to include all of them if I didn't I would I would do um, uh, in, in much the way it's got from I would say um, to equals and the last file name but in this case we don't need to because we want to include all of it so um, we can now also put the uh, title up here and we can say Thomas Henry Barker and we can put the year in here and um, that's for now that's probably about enough and so I'll save this page and we now have the main space uh, transcribed page um, uh, all done and dusted. Uh, obviously it needs proofreading and fixing up um, and there's some broken links and there's some I've used the wrong template um, but never mind that. Um, so if we go back to the editing where we've got not yet transcluded uh, we can say it's fully transcluded and so we'll save that. And yeah that's that's about the summary of it. Um, uh, one last thing we can do is um, uh, the letter in the main space of Wikisource needs to be linked in the site link for the item. So we can go to English and then we can put this in here. It'll autocomplete. Oh, there's two there because that, that's a previous letter that, that I've worked on earlier. Um, and we can also give it a badge of uh, not proofread so uh, that indicates that um, this page is not yet proofread that that doesn't matter so much um, it's really useful to set that to validated when it is finally validated so um, if I go back to the main space page now and I just purge that um, yeah we'll see we've now got um, a link back to the wikidata item here and everything's looking pretty good so now we can go on to Thomas Henry Barker's page um, I'll copy that title go here here's other ones that I've been working on 
uh, we'll edit his works list and we'll go in here and we'll say we'll make a link to it um, the format has been like that and we'll add the small scan link after it um, that will link to the uh, index page um, which is the same title but I'll just copy it from there just to make sure uh, put that in there get rid of the leading uh, namespace um, and there we can see that the transcription project link is is there um, inviting other contributors to add to it so add new letter there we go that's um that's about the sum of it uh, hopefully that was useful. Cool. Thank you.